so hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today i will show you how to import and visualize our nova data set of nighttime data using google earth engine so let's get started so now let me explain about the nova nighttime data set so now let me explain about this data set so this data set refers to dmsp ols nighttime uh, series version 4 a defense meteorological program operational line scan system so the, this defense uh, meteorological program operation line scan system nighttime uh, light time series version 4 is a data set that provides information on nighttime lights observed from the space the dmsp ols is a satellite based sensor designed to collect the data on the atmospheric and surface condition the nighttime uh, light data from dmsp ols is particularly useful for studying the urbanization economic activity and energy conservation pattern over consumption pattern over time it allows the researchers and analysts to observe the change in the brightness and distribution of light at night providing an insight into human activities and development the version 4 of this dmsp ols data set represents an updated and improved version of our previous version it incorporates an advancement in satellite technology data processing algorithm and calibration technique the improved version aims to provide more accurate and reliable information on nighttime uh, lights. So by analyzing this data, that is nighttime light time series, so researchers can track the changes in the urban areas and monitor the expansion of the city's study population dynamics and assess the impact of various factors on energy consumption patterns. This data has sets as in applications in urban planning, environmental studies, disaster management and socio-economic research. So this is an official site where you can able to access the data set. So it is provided by Google Earth Engine. So DMSP OLS Nighttime uh, Time Series Version 4 Defense Meteorological Program Operation Line Scan System. And this particular data set has a unique capability to detect the visible and near infrared emission source of sources at night. And this image and the data is processed by the NOAA National Geophysical Data Center dmsp data collected by us air force weather agency now let me show you the different bands available in this data so there is a four different bands have been available in this data and it has a resolution of around 927.67 meters so in that we are particularly going to use this specific band called stable lights so this specific band that is stable light it is a cleaned up average visualization contains the lights from city towns and other sites but the persistent lightning and including a gla the gas flares so now the data set availability this, this particular data set is available from 1992 to 2014 so the data set provider is the earth observation group the Payne institute of public policy the colorado schools of mines and uh, to access this data you have to use the specific code in google earth engine so now let me get back to google earth engine so this is our google earth engine so now to uh, to import this data into our earth engine, we have to define a variable called dataset equals to double e dot image collection nova dmsp ols the nighttime lights. So in that we're going to select specifically uh, stable light band. So we have to uh, we're going to select the specific band called stable lights. So for that we define dot select stable lights, and next we defined dot map function img and return image set year and double e image dot date and dot year so next we are going to select the specific years so to visualize this uh, nighttime data for the specific years starting from 1992 2000 2008 and 2013 so the data set is available from 2000 that is from 1992 to 2014 so now next so next we have to filter with a specific uh, time period so for that we defined a variable called filter equals to data set dot filter metadata years equals year dot a so here the day we have defined the years so that is from 1992 to 2000 2008 and 2030 so for that we are specifically filtering with the specific uh, years so next we have to set a visualization parameter for our nighttime data that is our NOAA data so for that we have to define a variable called style so the bands we are using stable lights and with a maximum of 63 and we are using the color palettes so we are defining color palettes starting from black to red so the black here indicates the indicates the lowest uh, the lowest concentration of light 
and uh, here the red indicates the highest concentration of light in uh, in the night so the black here represents the lowest low and the red here here represents the higher highest the highest concentration of our light during in night so next to add this layer into earth engine we have to define map dot add layer filter so here the filter refers to this variable we are where we are filtering with a specific time period starting from 1992 2000 2008 and 2013 the next we are using style so the style here used for visualization parameter here the variable refers to the style and nova year refers to our data sets and starting from year 1992 to 2013 so now let me reset this so now to run this code go click this option called run script so now let us visualize our uh, nova nighttime data so we have four different layers so starting from 19 uh, 1992 to 2000 2008 and 2013 we have four different uh, data sets of uh, four different layers of nighttime data so now let us start with 1992 so now you can visualize this there is a change you can visualize let me zoom into this region so now let us zoom to united states so now let us visualize the the concentration of our night that is of a light density starting from 1992 to 2030 so this is during 1992 so now let me uh, turn on this layer 2000 so now we can you can visualize the change so this is 1992 so this is 2000 and now let us visualize over 2008 So now let us visualize the year, the night time that is over 2013. So you can visualize in the United States in 1992 the concentration of light was uh, lower. So in 2000 you can observe there is a concentration of light has been increased. But in 2008 let me turn this layer. So the light has been reduced during 2008. And now let me turn on this layer called in 2013. So the light has been slightly increased. So now let us visualize the other part of the world. So now let us uh, specifically look at a region called in India. We can uh, visualize a region called Chennai. So let us visualize the nighttime data in Chennai. So now let us visualize the study region called Chennai. So we can uh, clearly able to view the nighttime, the concentration of uh, the brightness and distribution of light over this uh, specific region that is study region called Chennai so you can visualize the brightness of uh, brightness and distribution of light in this region so in 1992 this was the condition so now let us turn on this layer during 2000 so now you can visualize the concentration of the concentration and that is the distribution and the brightness of light has been increased during 2000 so now let me turn on this layer in 2008 so now the concentration is increased increased turn this off okay now you can visualize it so it has been increased so now uh, let us visualize in uh, year 2013 so now let me turn this layer of 2013 now let us visualize the change here so still the uh, concentration that is of brightness and the distribution of the light has been increased Compared to 2008, the 2013 has been significantly increased. You can observe. So I'm turning this layer on and off. You can visualize the change difference between 2008 and 2013. So in this video, I have shown you how to import and visualize the NOVA DMS POLS nighttime uh, time series data in our Earth engine and visualize the this distribution and the brightness of the light in different part of the world so thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like